Hey guys, got a uh, comment from Chris Bunn, a request for a, uh, a video, and pardon the mess on my table. Um, he wanted to see how I removed the uh, covers prior to rebinding. And uh, it's, it's really not that difficult, but you can make some mistakes. So I just kind of want to go through what you what you need and uh, and how to do it real quick. So first of all, I've got this skiving knife from uh, it's I can't, I can't remember where I got it from. I believe I got it online, uh, but it was from uh, Japan. It was actually really cheap. It was maybe five or six bucks free shipping. And uh, anyhow, it's really, uh, really, really sharp. And I sharpen it here and there. When I need to, but it's only need to be sharpened a couple times. So, anyway, so you need a sharp, sharp knife, and really a box cutter will do the same thing. Uh, just a razor knife is fine. I just, I just like how this one fits in my hand, you know, because I pull when I'm when I'm cutting. And uh, so you'll open this up, and this is for a paste down liner, uh, one with a paste down. The way this is is structured is. Uh, this paste down and your end sheet is basically one big sheet and uh, and underneath this there is a uh, reinforcement that ties the block into the into the uh, paste down in the cover that's what where the strength comes from but you'll find it it tears right in here uh, so anyway so what you want to do is you'll want to and pardon me I'm trying to do this one-handed so and this is for a rebind for a friend of mine uh, also. So you want to start right here where, let me see if I can get it closer. You want to start right here where if you're right in the in the hinge, you, you're going to cut string. You're going to cut the sewing. So you want to go just toward the end of the string. So I grip my knife and I will start about a few millimeters off. You see how it's kind of a little bit off that that uh, edge, and I will walk it all the way down, trying to maintain that same uniformity in the cut. And hopefully, this is easy to follow. It's definitely not easy to cut and film with one hand each. So, anyway, you can see how I'm, I'm a little bit off the edge. Uh, just wanting to protect that sewing. Uh, from the the blade, so yeah. All right. So when we get that, you can see it start to separate. You can see that that reinforcement underneath. So I might have to go through this line again, which is fine, uh, just to ensure that I'm cutting. But I just want to make sure I'm not cutting the sewing for the binding. But you can see where it separates. And and that's fine. So just give me one second, and I will uh, I'll finish this cut. So so I'll start cutting that reinforcement that ties the cover to the uh, to the uh, the block. So once I cut that, then it'll just be a matter of of uh, pulling this down and uh, separating it. You can start to see it separating there. And sorry, trying to again trying to do this one-handed. So you see it separate pretty easily. You got to take your time with with your knife work, okay? Because the last thing, the last very last thing you want is to cut the sewing. Um, for me personally, I don't have a a. Uh, sewing stand i'd have to send it off to be re-sewn or to be retied or i'd have to just fix it as best i could if i accidentally did cut the sewing um so you can see how you pull this uh cover this part of the cover off it's kind of a buffer between the uh the spine and the uh actual block so this side's off now the next thing i'll do is i will turn it around and flop it over and I'll cut the other side I might just do it a little bit deeper so I don't have to go over it two times so just bear with me 
Sorry if the camera gets off any. I'm trying to hold it down with my elbow and cut and hold a camera. So just bear with me for just a minute. So I'm a little bit further toward the end of the cover than, uh, than I normally would be. I'm just trying to make it one cut. And here she goes. You can see it coming off pretty easy. Now, this one is ready to uh, be reinforced. And uh, this is where I will uh, pull the headbands back. And, uh, and I, usually I'll take all this off and put my own reinforcement on it if it were a uh, used edition. But this is a brand new LBLA Santa Biblia. So I'm probably just going to reinforce the hinges by wrapping some some cloth around and, and making a glued hinge. Uh, I'll also pull these uh, headbands back at least, change the ribbons and put the ribbons desired for the, the customer in there. This particular Bible is going to be a burgundy deer skin cover. I'm not sure about the liner, probably a lambskin liner. And uh, three uh, probably burgundy or crimson uh, ribbons but anyway that's how you take off a cover it's pretty simple right at with doing the video and doing it one-handed it took me right now six minutes so anyway there's your little tutorial chris hopefully that's helpful hopefully it's helpful for most of you guys uh if you're looking to maybe do your own chris mentioned that uh you know purchasing one of my rebinds might be out of his price range I don't know. That's kind of why I started getting into rebinds because I couldn't really afford a, uh, I couldn't really afford to rebind all that I wanted to. So I would encourage you if you feel like it might be outside of your price range, uh, get, go get some leather and try it out. You might like doing it yourself, you know, have your own style to it. So that's kind of what got me into doing it. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if you have any more requests for certain specific videos, Please let me know. I'll try to I'll try to do what I can to uh, post what I can that might be helpful. Anyway, thank you guys. God bless, and uh, take care.